Decoupling is a long-term process. It can't be done immediately. Whether it is the manufacturing of APIs in the pharmaceutical sector or building up domestic manufacturing capacities, Rohan Gupta, that process is underway. So economically and militarily, in the way that you can untangle your relationship from China, the direction has been set very clearly and that's the direction which the government is doing. It's not something that can happen immediately. Whether it is the US which has a worse relationship than we do, it is about containment, it is about management of China, it isn't about open confrontation. You have to do what you have to and yet you have to contain and deal with them. I think uh, Raul, it's a case of too little, too less because and too late again. because. If you see the way China entered our borders, when our 20 soldiers were martyred, this government didn't accept that this has happened. My point, again, I'm coming to the main point that, yes, we have to admit that there is an issue. If you don't admit there is an issue, you cannot find solution. You cannot get cooperation of others, number one. After Galwan happened, there has been increase in imports by 45 percent. If the direction was set by government, assuming that they are late or may they, they got up when Galwan happened, even after that, if that the priority was set at that point of time, increase of 45 percent is not normal now by any standards, by statistical standards or by a layman standard. Because this government was busy managing media in India, that priority was never to counter China strongly. What is this? They are like today that also I mean, Samsung uh, planes. Or don't speak in between, Miss Sanju. I never spoke in between. Let me you complete are not this. The the I also can shout like this, but don't speak in between. Two thousand square kilometers, me. Square me. kilometers me. of our land is still occupied by China. There is no question asked. We see every day the new colonies are okay. being created. So, so, so here's, border, here's your point. Okay, one, one second, Sanju Verma. Here's no, the point. Complete. Here's the point. Here's the point that Ron Gupta is making. If the UPA were in power and territory where the Indian Army had been patrolling had then been denied to India to patrol, then the BJP would have been out in the streets making a massive political ruckus. You wouldn't have then said China is tough and tricky. It's always been tough and tricky to deal with. You would have created a massive political storm and made life miserable for Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, where because now uh, it's the BJP government in power. You're saying, but our tough fair, we, we are doing what we can, but let's not discuss it publicly. You are not accepting that there is a live problem where territory is being denied, where we're no longer able to patrol, where we've patrolled in the past. Rahul Kaval, again to your very, very, very verbose and lengthy question, I realize you did not heckle the Congress spokesperson even once. I hope you will extend me the courtesy without heckling me. Now listen to what I have because to Rahul say. And I'll put... Heckle. No, no. Okay, Rahul, Rahul is an experienced... Okay, let him... Gupta, Rohan Gupta, let us speak. Rohan Gupta, let us speak. Sanju Verma, if you have an argument, you go ahead and make it. Rohan, turn Rohan's fader down. Let Sanju complete her argument. Sanju, go on, please, quickly. No, don't tell me quickly. I will give my arguments and I will take the time that you get to the Congress spokesperson. Stop saying quickly. Now listen to this and your audience needs to know. Rahul Kaval will not decide... Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi or Rohan Gupta or even your esteemed panelists including me, none of us will decide whether territory was, uh, you know, taken over by the Chinese, whether it was a mere provocation, whether there was a transgression. Be it Rajnath Singh, the defense minister, be it Amit Shah, the home minister, be it Mr. Jai Shankar, the external affairs minister. They clearly said that there were provocations. They said this during Galwan. They said this recently during the uh, Tawang sector provocation. But territory has not been taken, point number one. Point number two, how much information the government decides to put out in the public domain in interests of national security is the Modi government's prerogative. As for the National Security Act, which was framed by Indira Gandhi and signed by Neelam Sanjeevarati, then point number three, Rahul, can I make my points? Complete, Thank please. You. Point number three, point number three. You know, one thing which nobody seems to be talking of is the fact that China has a border which it shares with over a dozen nations and has a dispute with over two dozen nations. For the first time in recent history, you know, in February 2021, thanks to Narendra Modi's diplomacy, call it soft power, call it masculinity, whatever you will, China was forced to voluntarily disengage to finger eight, its position at finger eight near Pangong So, and we disengaged to our original position near the Dhan Singh Tapa outpost. Show me one government in post-independent India which forced the Chinese, 